Hey, Coach. Yep. He's down there in Santa Barbara. Started off great. Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey, the first couple of minutes were great. You know, dropped two tough games last week. Just kind of talk about the team, where the team's at mentally, physically after a, a tough week. Well, I think that uh, we, we, as coaches, we have everyone's attention as far as the things that we need to improve upon. Obviously, it was a really frustrating week. I think that um, our opponents played well. I, I think that we still have the ability to play better than what we played. So that's the good news. Uh, defensively is one of the areas that we've really been trying to talk about to make major improvements because I think that's kind of let us down in the last couple games. So that's where our focus is, and I, I do believe that the team still has their sights set on a championship. We understand with the you know recent loss of Bletcher that that makes that job even tougher, but uh, it means that we have to become a great defensive unit, and that's one of our areas of focus right now. Do you sense that the team is is a little bit down after last week, or do you think that you know young kids bounce back better than? coaches and whatnot? Well, I, I think that, uh, you know, last year we finished in third place, and if that's the lot that we're assigned this year, then it's, we get an extra game to try to get to the championship. So uh, that's how we're trying to view it is it's God's got a purpose in all the things that happen in our lives, and certainly the adversity that we face this year with um, injuries again and, and coming up on the road. You know, we've had three. This will be our third senior day. And I just hate it. I hate it. They're all very nice. I'm very happy for all the seniors graduating. But Cal Poly, we, we just haven't gotten a break as far as the senior days go. Um, but I think that this team is still bent on trying to win a championship. And it's a process for sure. We're still a long way out. We could sure to use some help from some of our opponents to see if we couldn't finish in the top two spots. But if not, then we're prepared to play three games to win a championship. Are you concerned about your team's free throw shooting. I know Riverside, you guys missed, or what day was it? Wednesday or Thursday, you guys went eight for 17 from the line. Pick a game, any line? game. You know, Santa Barbara's <laughs> still kind of thing. I mean, how dis, you know, how concerning is that for you? Well, it's very concerning. I mean, we, we always talk as a team that we'd love to be in the 70 percentile, and, you know, we're hovering right at 67 percent, and then we had those games where we're in the high 40s. I mean, that's, you're not going to win a game with that. And so, you know, we practice every day. The girls have free throws that they have to shoot. It's a matter of uh, being focused and relaxed at the same time. And I do think that us going on the road, we're, we're getting uh, our fair share of heckling, which is ex exactly what's expected of opponents. But um, you know, we need to be able to, to really focus even through the heckling. Hey, Coach, uh, the road's not been kind to you. No. So wh what's going on on the road? Because you're not going to play here at home this season. We aren't. We've got, we got to figure it out pretty quick here. Uh, you know, we're going to try to get out of, out of Dodge a little bit earlier. We've been leaving to try to benefit the players. We've been leaving for road trips at 6 o'clock, which means we get in at 10, 1030 in most of our Southern Cal games. And, uh, you know, they basically have only had a few minutes to do shoot-around for – game day and so you know this game we're going to try to go down a little bit earlier see if we can't get a practice in at UC Irvine and see if that'll help us become acclimated to our environment a little bit earlier again it's one of the choices that I make as a as a coach of a team that's involved in one of the most prestigious academic universities in the country and so I've always chosen to try to keep the kids in class um, but you know we'll see if if we can mix it up a little bit I we only have a couple kids with classes on Friday, so hopefully we'll be able to go down a little bit earlier and, and mix things up and get a little bit more rest than what we've done in the last couple of games. And you've talked about that, that process all season long of being a champion and all that, um, and then also the, the change uh, of status from this team as being one of the underdogs to one of the favorites. Um, so where do you see the team is at right now in that process? Just still still learning? I mean, are they still? Yeah. Like, I mean, obviously they are, but I mean, like, are, are they not going through that process as well as you, as you would like them to? Well, I, we've never been here before, and uh. so that part has been um, a learning experience. I like how you phrase that. It gives you so much more respect for the teams like the Santa Barbaras, which we've always had great respect for them, but to respect them even more for what they've been able to do as being the leaders for so long and have everybody try to play their A game. We've certainly faced some A game uh, level of play against our recent opponents and 
you know, we faltered. So having to bring your A game every single day, whether it's at home or on the road, it's been a major challenge for us, and we haven't passed that test yet. But uh, certainly it gives us great respect for the, the teams who have been in that position and been able to meet the challenge of having people take shots at them. Do you feel like the team